Sound in art is highly problematic. It's highly problematic. For the same reason, the movement, movement in art is highly, highly problematic. In the sense that it has this particular um, temporal relation to space. Um, it begins, it ends, it is, it is the uncontrollable child in the family. That's what music or sound uh, will be. Sound is um, fundamentally incompatible with the moving image or with the image. Um, as long as we think um, about our senses as divided organs, which is what we do. Our culture is aimed at or is based upon looking or seeing our senses as divided uh, senses. We have the sense of perception, the sense of hearing, which are dominant, and the others are in a way left behind, especially in image culture, which is crucial to our nervous system of modern man or modern human being. So, um, and I try to fight against that. And, um, but back to the sound aspect is, it's often, um, I have a hate-love relation with, with, with sound in, in I, when I, when I, Three third, three fourths of three quarters of the work I make are um, without any noise at all, and I don't think you can be soundless. It is impossible. At least if you accept that all senses are part of one uh, uh, unity, it's impossible to to say a work is without sound. Therefore, there's no noise. Absolutely not. It quite, it's quite loud. In fact, when there's no sound. And um, then when I use sound, I, I have a tendency of preferring to work with very, especially when I use soundtracks, with very cheap sounding soundtracks. I don't use them often because if you do that, that's the end of your career very rapidly. <laughs> so. <laughs> Like every three or four years I would, or maybe every fifth year I would produce a work which has that. And it's done enough damage, but I enjoy it a lot. Um, and um, that's, the, that's the relation with sound. And you find it back in, of course, the problem with biennials and with mass exhibitions. That um, what will feel so unnerving is not that much all these lit up images in dark rooms or black boxes, but it is the necessity of closing up the sound and isolating the sound. And then unavoidably an impression exists of a prison where you need to imprison the sound, otherwise it goes and walks about and mingles with the other sounds, which them don't like to be mingled with, because sound is fundamentally, when you mix it into a film, it's fundamentally autistic. It will not tolerate others. <laughs>